Hi friends, welcome to Ajay Automation channel. In this video, we are going to see uh, test automation interview questions asked in TCS in the month of August 2024. So this is for 3 to 10 year experience candidates. So totally there was only one round for 30 minutes and the interview started with self introduction and uh, questions like have you worked as a team lead, how do you handle escalations. So mostly 3 to 10 year experienced people uh, might have worked as a team lead. Okay. So they might ask as a team lead what you have done to your team, so um, how do you handle escalations, how do you manage the team and all. So prepare for these questions. So it's important when you uh, cross these 3 year marks, okay, 3 year experience mark to 10 year experience, these questions are important. So once it's done, as usual, there were questions from automation framework, okay, explain about your automation framework and uh, once it's done the question was from what library you have used for importing data from excel to selenium scripts you might have used apache poi library right so the uh, next question was uh, from apache poi library so how do you bring data from excel to selenium so you have to explain the code to bring data from excel to selenium okay you might have used file input stream and create workbook and sheets to bring data from excel to selenium explain that code Okay, so uh, the next question is what is the use of file input stream? So it's also related to bringing data from Excel to Selenium. Explain that answer. Okay, so the next question was like how many years of experience you have in creating test scripts? Okay, so this question is very important. So initially we might have started our career in manual testing. So uh, please explain the correct count here. If you have only one years of experience, explain one or if you have three to four years explain that number because the interviewer while interviewing knows the person's experience okay he might be an experienced person so be careful in answering this question so the next question is how do you configure your test to ci cd pipeline so we have jenkins and bamboo so whatever used in your project you can explain that whole process so how how will you run failed test cases alone so if you are using testng there will be a file generated after te uh, test execution called testng fail.xml we can go and see the failed test cases name there okay you can directly run that file so have you done parallel execution if so how using testng we can achieve parallel execution also if you have implemented that process you can explain that process okay explain page object model so it's a commonly asked interview question in most of the automation interview explain that for every web page in the application you might have corresponding object classes okay that concept is termed as page object model okay it's a design pattern so the next question is how will you import selenium dependencies in your project so if you are using maven project you might have form.xml so we will add selenium and other dependencies like testng libraries in form.xml okay next question is explain web driver architecture so you have to explain the whole architecture okay selenium architecture here so the next question is if you have thousand test cases how will you execute only 100 so we might have here grouping concept right we can group test cases or we can split test cases in xml file in both these ways we can execute only specific number of test cases so next question is explain the structure of testng.xml file so the xml file you have structure you have to explain here like it start with soup test and the classes and methods right just explain that structure okay so then there were questions from selenium so what are the types of locators you are using id xbar uh, css selector so the interviewer asked have asked question from those questions okay what is the use of xbar what are the types of xbar related and absolute xbar which is the best xbar related or absolute xbar so prepare for these questions okay so how will you handle dynamic elements this question is commonly asked in most of the interviews okay in process e pam and because all the websites have dynamic elements right so you need absolute xpath to handle this dynamic web element okay so next question how will you identify an element which has text equal to something you have to write an xpath here with contains keyword okay so next question how to type text in an input box using selenium without send keys we can actually use send keys to send the text without send keys means we can use javascript executor okay 
Next question is, is it a good approach to use weights in your program? Definitely no, try to avoid weights as much as possible, but you can use explicit weight wherever it is required. Okay. Can you name some areas where you have used explicit weight? Okay. So where will we use explicit weight? Okay. Um, for visibility of elements and for certain cases we are using explicit, explicit weight, right? You can explain those processes here. Okay. How does Selenium handle Windows based pop up? Selenium cannot handle Windows based pop ups because Selenium is designed to automate only web applications. Okay. Be careful in answering these questions. So, how will you verify whether a web element is present or not? Is this simple one using is displayed method? We can verify. Difference between get and navigate this is also a simple question. We just explain driver what is the use of driver.get and driver.navigate. Two both are almost similar, but navigate stores the cookies whereas driver.get do not store the cookies okay how to set browser window size in selenium we can use driver.manage.window uh, code here which sets the browser size to the whole screen okay if the interviewer asks i want to set the window size to a particular dimension you have to use different method here okay be careful there while answering this question so next question is what is hard and what is soft assertion so hard assertion uh, i believe so sometimes you might get an error during executing your code hard assertion means the test cycle moves to the next attest annotation code whereas soft assertion means it just moves to the next line of code okay that's the difference so how will you handle alerts in selenium using switch to method we can handle alerts and for clicking ok button we can use accept and for clicking dismiss but uh, sorry cancel button we can use dismiss method and if you want to get the text of the alert message you can use get text method so what is the most most complex scenario you have automated just explain what is the difficult scenario you have automated it might be a, a critical functional test case or performance test case or api test case so whichever you feel complex you can explain it here okay so then there were few questions from testng like what are all annotations you are using what is the use of testng in your framework this is a popular question okay use of testng library in your framework so why we are using testng to make the more code uh, to make our code more readable we are using priority we are using annotations right it makes the code more readable someone who is not doing on automation if they see our code from client side they will understand the purpose of the code okay that's why we are using testng and we are also using testng for reporting purposes too. okay so basically it makes our automation framework more beautiful okay if you have multiple attest annotation in the class which test will be running fine so it goes with the alphabetical order right method names which starts with a will execute first and b will execute second so what are the attributes supported by attest annotation in testng there are many annotations right priority depends on method those are some of the attributes how will you execute methods or test cases in a testng in a different order we can use priority here okay so explain grouping so grouping you know we have to group uh, ui related test cases mobile related test cases api related test cases so we use grouping in that time so you can explain the whole process wherever you modify the files you can explain those file names so basically from we modify the test file as well as the xml file here okay how do you exclude a group from the test execution cycle so if you don't want any particular group to be run then you can add a keyword called exclude in your xml file and just run that xml file okay it, that particular group will not be executed difference between at factory and at data provider annotations both are used to bring data okay so just be careful in answering the differences okay so how do write exception tests in testng so basically there is an uh, exception method to write test okay so basically we guess the exception and we uh, put that exception inside the code and we can wait for that exception okay using testng explain that annotation name here and explain the process of why we are using this exception test okay so on what levels can we apply parallel testing in testng okay we can apply parallel testing for classes methods okay on these levels we can use parallel testing in testng okay so next one is java technical questions and 
Java was the last part of the interview. Okay, Java technical questions and Java programs. So can yeah, constructor be overloaded? Yes, it's related to method overloading. So definitely a constructor can be overloaded. Then you have to explain about access modifiers like public, protect type, and private, and the use of them. Why are strings immutable in Java? Use of finally block. Finally block is very important. We usually store the important code there. Okay. So the next question is where have you used Wooks concepts in your framework? So this question is almost asked in all the interviews. Infosys, EPAM, TCS. Okay. Just explain about polymorphism, inheritance, abstractions, and encapsulation. Difference between abstract class and interface. This question also we saw in Infosys interviews and EPAM. So explain the difference use of static keyboard use of uh, method overloading and overriding what is hash map what is the use of java collections difference between array and array list okay these are kind of common questions asked in almost all the interviews okay java collections concepts this what are the groups concepts you have using a from framework and method overloading and overriding i almost see in all the interviews okay so the java programs ask for this interview was from strings again okay okay check whether two strings are anagram or not so this program was asked in this particular interview and uh, for an another candidate there were questions from string remove duplicates from there string given and you have to count the number of occurrences in that particular string okay so uh, i could see this duplicate string for almost all the interviews 3 to 8 year experience questions 3 to 10 year experience they are asking these questions from strings and arrays so prepare well in strings and arrays okay definitely one of the interviews you will crack it easily and then there were questions from agile related questions in the last part of the interview like what is a backlog and what do you do in uh, retrospective meeting or daily scrum meeting so this is kind of common questions asked in all the interviews okay so that's it so if you have done well in this interview if the candidate is, has done well they will check for this course again you have to score 3.5 or 3 in almost all these areas okay communication attitude annual testing concepts you have to score 4 okay remaining thing even if you are scoring 3 we will go through the first round and be selected for the hr round okay so prepare well so please subscribe my channel and watch out for more training videos um, i'm signing off thank you so if you are looking for any training you can mail us at tvmfreshers training at gmail.com thank you again bye